Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and it's that time of year here in Alberta where we need to start uh, doing some yard maintenance and grass cutting. So I pulled out the old 15 year Tecumseh Yard Works uh, mower, and uh, the stupid thing wouldn't start. It used to start every time on the first or second pull, and now um, it won't. So um, I did some diagnostics and discovered that the safety latch or lever here that they put on because people were too stupid to not put their fingers in where the blade is um, is uh, stretched so it, uh, you need to have that uh, pulled forward so it'll start and after pulling on it for a few times my stupid pull cord broke on it too so that's two of many things that are going wrong with this mower after 15 years another thing is the the uh, bulb for priming the engine is uh, starting to split uh, the air filter needs to be changed, it needs servicing like a spark plug and, uh, and new blade and everything. So for the money that was going to take to get parts for this thing, I went and decided to buy a new one. Now, hopefully the new one lasts as long as this one did. I mean, we, I mean, we only use a, a lawnmower for basically four or five months out of the uh, season, so it's not like they're working very hard here. So. I'm going to uh, go get a new lawnmower and we'll unbox it and we'll send this one down the line. So let's get at it. Okay, so I bought myself a Craftsman gas mower. It's a 159cc engine on it. And um, I hope it's as good as the old one. My old one had a, a higher cc, I think it was 190cc. So I'm hoping that this one won't bog down when the grass gets long and wet. But it also just means I need to uh, Cut the grass more often. So let's open the box and see how it came. Everything's assembly required these days. Careful how deep you your knife here. Just notice the bag is right on top. Okay. So here's the grass catching bag. Why can't they put these things together in the factory? Outside. Bag with a manual in it and looks like the chute. I think this one has the option of a rear bag or side chute and it does mulching as well. So I don't normally bag the grass except maybe the first time, uh, the first cut of the year. So um, usually I'm just doing mulching. Grab my knife here. mostly assembled. assembly required. I don't think I'm going to put the side chute on. Okay, now we got to get the handle upright and locked down. Uh, this has a storage mode so you can see how the handle fits nice and flat here. So I'm going to take off the wing nuts, set those aside, and at the back here of the handle, there's two other wing nuts that we take right off. They got a black top on them. Come on. There we go. We'll just set those aside. Let's bring the handle up and pull the handle out to the next available. Hole. There's a hole on the shaft that you can put your um, your wing nut back in. There it is there. Kind of nice that it has the storage mode. You can really get it flattened down for putting it away in the winter. 
There we go. Tighten down. Now we have the gray wing nuts here that uh, are going to hold the handle upright. The, uh, the bolt goes in the back, such. kind of a carriage bolt, so it's got the uh, square part of the head fits into the handle. Just thread that back on. finish of the craftsman of the old days. Okay, there's the handle. So let me bring you in and show you what I did. So these wing nuts here, you take them out completely and then you slide this rod up. There's this hole here that it was threaded in for when you have it folded down. And then there's another one at that level. And that brings the handle right out and you put your uh, wing nuts back in. And then I put these gray ones in the middle of the handle to hold it upright. Okay, the next thing now is there, there's a hook here for the pull cord. So we're just gonna pull the cord up and it's gonna hook in this brass hook here. So we'll just put the cord in, there's a bit of a slot there. And then just turn that brass thing so it fits uh, nicely with the uh, the handle there. So kind of at a it looks like it's at about a 30 degree angle there. And then you tighten down this wing nut, and that way your pull cord is up there. Okay, so we've got our safety handles already installed. There is a uh, zip tie here that looks like needs to be tightened down just a bit not too much because you're going to want to be able to fold that handle and it just kind of keeps it uh, close and, and out of the wheel there I assume. Let's see if there's anything on the underside that needs to be done. I don't think so though. Just lean that on the truck like that. It's got the blade on it already. Got a nice edge on it. There's the rear chute for the rear bagger, and that's a side chute that you can add the side chute onto if you want, but I'm not going to do that. And right here is a place you can uh, attach your hose, and that will clean the underside of the, uh, uh, the blade area there, so when you get grass all up in there, I guess you can just spurt it up. See what it looks like underneath here. Yeah, it's just a sprayer nozzle on the underside here, so it just shoots water either right way, and then you know it'll keep the underside of the deck nice and uh, grass free. We'll see if I ever use that. I think the next step now is we've got to put oil in it because it doesn't come with oil in it or gas for that matter. So um, let's get at that. Okay, I turned the mower around so you could see better. Um, it came with a bag of 10W30 oil, and it's a 20 ounce bag or 591 milliliters for us in the rest of the world. And it's supposed to take the full 20 ounces, so we're just gonna add that oil in. Currently, there's none in it. There's some liquid on the dipstick, but that's mainly, I think, from the uh, factory. But before I do that, put the oil in, I'm going to check to see if there is actually any oil in it because there is some on the dipstick, but that could have just been for testing purposes. Okay, let's put the dipstick back in. It turns about a 90 degree turn or a quarter of a turn. Let's check to see, nope, that dipstick is dry. So we're going to add this whole package of oil. I'm not going to lie to you, I did throw in my man card and did have to read the instructions to see how much oil to put in it. Um, I assumed it was the whole bag, but you know what? You never assume. So it comes with a nice handy uh, throwaway pouch. Now this one claims to be a never 
change the oil unit. Um, obviously it's probably a, a synthetic oil. We'll see if uh, I ever not change the oil. It seems kind of uh, boastful to say you never have to change the oil in it, but let's face it, my old mower I maybe have changed the oil once every four years in it, so maybe this thing is only expected to last four years, that's why you never have changed the oil in it. Okay, that's that whole bag of oil. 20 ounces, or 591 milliliters. 600 milliliters for the sake of argument. Let's check it again, see if it's flowing into the bottom pan. And it is showing it right on the high end, so that is perfect. Nice and clean. Now even though it is supposed to be a no change uh, oil machine, there is a drain plug down here where you can change oil if you want. It's in kind of a crappy place, but uh, you know, you could probably put a little tube on there or something, or you can get a little pump and you could, you know, hand pump it out of the uh, crankcase if you wanted. So that's the oil. The blade is already on. Um, we need to gas it up and then let's figure out how we start this thing. Okay, to put the gas in it, there is a discardable cap on it, so we'll get rid of that. And here is your uh, actual fill cap which will take me probably 20 minutes to get this plastic wrap off of it. Oh, I lied, look at how nicely that came off. I mean, overall, the quality of this unit seems to be okay. I mean, without obviously starting it and running it, I don't know, but I mean, um, it came nicely assembled with very little effort to do that. So let's put some gas in it and see if we can get this thing going. This is some fresh gas I just got from the gas station today, so don't have to worry about using last year's fuel. Gas just doesn't seem to last like it used to. I don't know how big this tank is. Probably your standard lawnmower tank. That may take, I don't know, half a gallon. It's hard to see with these black tanks how full you're actually getting. A little bit more. It seemed to hold a fair amount. Put our new gas cap back on there. Firmly seal it. Don't want any check engine lights coming on or anything. Okay, there's no, there's a heat shield that's there. I'm looking for a choke or something. This is where the air filter is. I don't even see a primer bulb or anything. Ah, let's throw caution to the wind and see if it'll start. And then the safety handle, give her a pull. Easy as that. Um, I blew out a bit of smoke, but I think that's just from the manufacturing process. I need to use it once, obviously, so there's no choke or anything. I just pulled the handle and away she went. And it governs the speed all on its own. So the next thing is assembling that stupid bag. I don't know why they can't come assembled, but let's put that together. Okay. Now, this may look like a monkey doing algebra because there was no instructions on how to do this. So, um, hard part, obviously, is the bottom. And this is the handle to hold on to the bag when you're pulling it out. So, let's just stick that frame in there, like such. And it looks like it clips on its top bar underneath, keeping that handle part out. And somehow this rolls onto the bar. Okay, I'm going to do the side one first because it's got the bar area here, but you just flip the side tab upwards. Might be 
easier to have some kind of tool, but we'll see. Well, there's the side one on. So I got that one on there. Let's do this side. So this tab here just kind of slips over top of the bar. Like such. And then it'll snap into the, the round part that fits the bar in there nicely. Okay, so I still need to figure out this top one. Okay, I see what they've done. Same, same on the top. You can see here, there's the flat piece. You see here, there's the flat piece, and that's going to slide over top of the bar here. If I can get it to go here. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but you can comment below if there was. The easiest thing would be if the, the thing came already assembled. I'm going to sit down for this. I see you got to get both of them going at the same time on the top. Now this claims to be a dust-free bag, so it may filter some of the dust obviously coming out. There we got it. Got the top part anyways. One of my sides came out. So you can see there it's snapped into the bar. And there's a gap where that handle is so you can snap it here and snap it there. We'll do the side one again. Just keep snapping those tabs all the way around the steel frame. Going to slide it under, get the flat part slid over top of the bar. Use a single tab here that snaps there. Now on the bottom, now let's finish this side. Once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. But now, if you don't bag your grass, this whole process is irrelevant to you, but it comes with the mower. Like I said, I like to bag the grass at the beginning of the year just to get some of the thatch and dirt out of it. And sometimes in the last cutting of the year, too. Oh, you mother! Yay! I think we got it. Oh, this one popped out again. Okay. There it is. All snapped all the way around. So that's the handle for it. Make sure everything's still clipped in where it's supposed to be. Looks like it. Let's bring the mower back in the picture. Okay. Flip up the back hatch here. And there's two tabs on, or knobs, on the sides of the bag. And they go up near the, uh, the thumb wheels that lift the handle out. And it just sits in there. Let me bring it closer. Not sure if that helps you any. Now, all of this is all plasticky, um, so where the bag sits, I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but like I said, I, I usually mulch anyways, so. Okay, why don't we uh, do some cutting with it and see how well it works. I guess before we cut any grass, one thing I forgot to talk about was the, the height adjusters, and these are just uh, go in plastic notches and you can raise or lower the deck to the height that you want and I guess because it's a new mower it'll be a crapshoot for me how low I want it um, and there are height numbers on there so uh, you want to keep each one equal it's interesting though that they don't put height adjusters on all four wheels it's only on the right hand side interesting
I'm going to uh, probably start out at, well, let's start out at two. And I'm going to take the bag off and do some mulching, and then I will uh, put the bag back on and, and catch some of the old grass from, uh, from winter. On the height adjuster side, I just noticed that there is a shaft that goes through the underside of the deck to one to each front wheel and one to each rear wheel. So you only have to adjust the height on one side and it raises and lowers the deck evenly on, on both sides. So uh, that's new to me. Maybe that's been a fairly common thing on, on lawnmowers, but like I said, I haven't bought one for 15 years. So let's see how this one works now. Okay, I started at one and that was way too low. Let's try two. three. Okay, now I'm going to put the bag on and drop it down half a notch and, uh, you know, maybe pick up some of the thatch. You go down half a notch by this look of it. I like to shoot the way all the grass gets stuck in there, but at least the bag caught a lot of it. Mm. 
Well, that was the assembly and first run of my Craftsman, what is it, an M130 with the 159cc motor on it. Um, for what I do, um, the grass was dry and um, at the height I was cutting it, the, the motor didn't bog down at all. So from that perspective, I think the motor is going to be strong enough. Um, my opinions on some of the plasticky stuff, I don't rate that very high, nor does this handle feel as uh, rigid as my old handle on my old lawnmower. So that could be an issue over time too. So I'm not sure it's going to last 15 years like my other one did, but at the price point of, um, I paid $330 Canadian. It's, uh, you know, in this throwaway society, it's kind of, uh, just use it, abuse it, and then when it dies, you just go buy a new one because uh, what I found out with my old mower, it's really not worth buying parts for it when who knows in six months if the engine could just uh, seize up in it. So um, if it's properly maintained, probably not, but you know, uh, it's always nice to have something new. So for my normal grass cutting height, I'll probably set it at about a three. Um, that way I won't bog down too much and the grass won't be too short. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it at a three for my normal height, I think. And uh, it, the bag, you know, would I rate it dust free? No, but it's a lawnmower bag. It seemed to work and as well as it could, but uh, a lot of grass does seem to get caught up in the chute there. So when you take the bag off a bunch of the clippings fall out. So just be aware of that. Overall, it's an okay mower for the money and uh, we'll see how long it lasts. So that's it for this edition of Monday Man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that stuff and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.